All right, guys, we've got the Ellenix Store 10.36 inch portable Apple CarPlay and Android Auto display for your car. This we're going to unbox real quick, and then I'm going to show you installing this in my car, which I'm I'm very excited about this device. Basically, you've got a backup camera, you got mirror link, um, you've got a 64 gigabyte TF card. We also have a dash mount on this. Oh man, the display. Look how, wow. Okay. That is a large, sleek, thin display. Like I am so excited to get this on my car. I've never been able to use CarPlay before, so I'm excited to install this. I have Apple, so I'm excited to use the CarPlay um, aspect, but obviously it works for Android Auto too. So man, I mean, I'm just going to tell you right out the gate, imagine this in your car on your dash. Um, the cool thing is obviously you've got your cigarette adapter. We can, we can uh, keep it charged that way. We also have a couple different ways to install it. We can install it with a windshield mount, which I think is very cool. That's probably going to be the way I go. Or you've got, um, and you've got the mount actually for the unit. So that's what this is right here. And then we've got our cords to make sure everything's hooked up and hooked up into our car. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fast forward, go into my car and actually see this. in action. All right, guys, we're out here in my car. And first of all, look at that sleek, thin, widescreen. This is a widescreen unit. Imagine how this would look on your dash. Now, we're not going to show the setup of the actual dash itself. But you have two different options here. You've either got the suction mount for your windshield and basically what that does is that's just going to clip onto the back of the unit there, or you've actually got one of these. There's an adhesive strip you can apply here and that can attach down here. And then you can have the unit stick up like this. So you can either attach it to your dash itself or to the windshield, whatever works best for you. But right now we just want to see how easy this is to get it functioning and attached to uh, your phone. So I've got an iPhone, so we're going to be doing CarPlay. So first of all, we've got the cigarette lighter adapter there. And what we do is just plug it in there. You also have a U extra USB A port that allows you to charge your phone even while you're using this. So on the connector port for the unit itself, it's a USB-C. And what we do is just plug that right into here and it's immediately going to begin to power on. Should start to make some noise here. You know, we haven't set up the Bluetooth yet, but we're going to do that real quick just to show you how easy it is. All right, and we've got our phone here. All right, so here's how the unit... I mean, this is a really sleek looking... Um, really sleek looking screen. So let's see if we can get this set up. You know what? I think it's probably just ready on Bluetooth. Let's just go back to the home screen. Apple CarPlay. All right, here we go. We're going to look for on Bluetooth here. There it is right there. So it says T861C0EDD. And that's so it what we're going to it right there, number two. And, then it's, and it's automatically up on your phone. We're going to click that. It's going to immediately pair. Going to allow that. All right, and now it's the last thing it says. It says use CarPlay. We're going to click use CarPlay, and then it should just take a few seconds. Oh, here we go, dude. We're already ready to go. Look at that. So first thing we want to show is like it's a screen just like your phone. We've got the even some of the common apps you use. We've got Spotify there. We can play whatever we want there, and it kind of gives it a nice visual. Um, you know, importantly, we also have maps right here. So you can have a really rich navigation system that's getting you wherever you want to go. And pretty much anything you want. This is all set up. Apple CarPlay. Again, this also works for... This also works for... Um, what is it? Android auto. Um, but this is a super cool unit. Imagine this 
in your car automatically turning on every time you turn your car on and automatically connects to your phone. If you should, if, if you're thinking about getting this, I think you should stop thinking about it. This is calling your name. 